Oh, shalom. Salam tana, eina yisterling. Ine aras yadino sefari neng. I am Wendem Yadam of the line of Judah Society of His Majesty, and we're still in um, Torah 17 and 18. This week's Torah portion is 18. And we once again would like to encourage the brothers and sisters and the disciples in particular. We tried to initiate um, a particular e-group and sent out some discipleship um, invitations to this particular e-group. But um, due to the responses, the responses, we think that the site is one of the Yahoo groups and only allow ones who are plugged into Yahoo or perhaps some of the um, email addresses on the discipleship applications <coughs> may not have been properly read because some wrote in cursive handwriting and when we put that data into the machine and sent out the invites, perhaps it did not go to the proper address. So what we like to do in this message is to encourage all of those who have been interested in the discipleship and who have mailed in applications even recently to contact us, go to the www.lojsociety.org site and to just send us a contact. If you've already mailed in the application, just say, I've mailed in the app. Uh, here's an uh, email address. Please use this email address to update to update me or if it's a collective of, of folks, of brothers and sisters, like a church, update us about the discipleship classes and studies and how we can really facilitate the um, using this modern technology, you know, in order to better coordinate our um, discipleship studies and the real growth because as Yeshua, Hamushia, as Jesus Christus, our Black Lord and Savior, he said to us, he said, he said to, to pray to Adonai of our oath, to pray to the Lord of the Sabbath, that he would send more laborers into his vineyard. And this is why this particular Torah portion, um, continuing from last week's, from 17, and that was Yitro or Yotor Bamarinya from the good is more Yotor, which is Jethro, and then now we're in the 18th Sabbatical reading and feeding, which is known as Mishpatim in the Hebrew, but Ibrayist Kwa, and in the Royal Amharic, in the Metzhav Kedus of Negus and Neges, we know it as Sirat or Shirat, which means the ordinances. Now, King James translates this portion, and um, in the previous video, we, we touched on this, and it's um, Exodus chapter 21, verse 1. This is these, these uh, seven days, or we can say the, from Sabbath, from Shabbat to Shabbat, these seven days concern the Mishpatim, um, teaching, reading, and feeding. But due to um, the... The harvest being ready and the laborers being few, and therefore this this labor has been on the few of us who are both um, trained or equipped. You know what we have to be equipped for this work because there's a grace that we receive in the Christ of His Majesty in the Jesus Christos. Yet that's coupled with a, a duty, a duty to, to service. And this is what Exodus in particular, um, although being a book of redemption, it also speaking of the service. So he gives us freely, but yet he also requires of us really what is, what is the minimum. But when there are, um, when the harvest is ready and there's much to do, but only a few um, either willing to do, but moreover, who are prepared to do. This is why discipleship is so very important, because many of you brothers and sisters 
must learn these basic things. And, and these, once you get the basic foundation, you see, basic discipleship, as we try to remind in, in the vids, grab your pen and your paper, have a composition notebook, a, a study book, a copy book. In fact, let me just show you. Um, okay, well, this is this is one of. Wow, this is this is a pretty old one right here. This is one of not 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 one of the more fancy ones, because some of them will put a you know picture on it or you know, attach um, an eye trade or something like that. There's other copies of other... Um, this is what I'm talking about, the Debtor. This is the Debtor, right? Let me put a sticker back here, you know, the Debtor, because we're special forces for the kingdom of heaven, for the kingdom of the King of Kings and his Christ. And in the beginning, you can see right here, this is a Fidel. You can see how this is a Fidel. But this is good and one of the older... This is the, the 26 letters, not the Amharic 33. But that's the basic foundation, and we have some papers here. This is actually from 1990. You can see this right here. This is from 1990, right? Um, some of our Amharic studies where our handwriting, I think, is, has improved since then. But um, this is what, where we practice and we made... Perfect. Even some quotes here from the Kubra Neges, no, actually the Fitta, the Fitta Neges, Article 44, Paragraph 24, Part Part 2 of the Civil Law. Of the Civil Law, something just dropped out the book. Can you see this here? Yeah, this, these are some of our notes. This is going back to the 1990s. And the beauty is that, <coughs> the beauty is that we can you know, look at these things now and really be able to um, be able to look at our progress, you know, and some questions that we couldn't answer then we even wrote down in the older books. And going over these things again, it, it, it really helps us to, um, to qualify and, and, and rate our own progress and basically answer the question, how are we doing? You know, saying how are, how are I and I doing? Are I and I improving? Are I and I growing? Are I and I learning anything? And what are we learning? You see, and also one thing is wonderful for those who are blessed with um, family life, you know? Um, and what I mean by family life, you know, um, the brother and the sister or the male and the female um, have, a, have a bond of, of of covenant in the true faith of the King of Kings and His Christ, and 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 in in the true harmony, so that they can grow up a righteous family. Then these things can pass on to one's um, youths and children. However, there are many sacrifices for the King of Kings and His Christ. Many of them unexpected, but the word. See, learning the word. And teaching and preaching the word, it lets us know what to expect. So this is this message right here, like I, like I, I said already, and I intended this just to be a discipleship update because, like we said, we tried to send out some circular um, invitations to uh, a particular Yahoo group, a, a Yahoo group um, to use as a discipleship link for the disciples, so that we can send out regular updates to the brothers and sisters who have sent forth applications and have have complied with the basic requests and who are sincerely looking forward to growing in this because there's a purpose in, in, in learning these things because we learn these things and we come to that rite of passage like bar mitzvah where we become adult or mature in the knowledge. Unfortunately, many of our people are still immature in this knowledge. They 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 know a little bit here and there, but but not in the true teaching of His Majesty. This is one of the reasons why such a work like this we had published. No doubt you recall this, such a work as this we published. Um, the good news of Him, and some of the other works and books. And this is also this is the update. This is the update of. Um, Amharic Bible homeschooling. 
Hi, this is the new edition of the Amharic Bible Homeschooling. You understand? Uh, some of the information is available. You can go to our, our website, check it out there. All right, and there is Ethiopic uh, first language as well. Ethiopic first language as well. Pocket size, but um, pretty thick. Um, yet, the, uh, put some of this here again. So, seeking to seeking to co coordinate some of the books are smooth. So the book, yeah, seeking to coordinate, seeking to coordinate this effort is both a, a logistical as well as a a, 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 a tactical um, challenge for us. Yet. Um, his Majesty's teaching and his example is 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 gradual, and and that's what he 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 showed both in his labor of love, his great work, his masterpiece, his opus magnum, um, in this last days and time, but giving us as Rastafari a very sure foundation, even if we point to one of the many. Deeds of the King of Kings, even the Metzhav Kedus, even the, the scripture in our own language, our pure language, where we can once again qualify the Word of God in its proper context from a trustworthy source. That in itself, brothers and sisters, is above all else that the King of Kings has done. And yes, we know there's naysayers, but there will be haters, and, and the Bible prepares us for that. So, with all of that being said, I just noticed this right here, in, and let me just show you in, in the back, you know, where they have the charts, we put some of the other additional letters. This is show how we, we ourselves show an example of what we mean by your copy book. Because we think it's it's important that because we we're not able to be you know we like we said we we're scattered all over all over the world. I mean we get um, contact from brothers and sisters all over the globe. You understand in many different countries who want to and desire and have a right to this education. Yet brothers and sisters, be patient because there's a few of us. You understand? Many are called, but few have chosen to answer that call, and 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 not ascribing anything to I and I, but a miserable servant just doing that which I and I have been lovingly commanded to do, it, are seeking and seeking to prepare others who can also co-labor with us, because many <coughs> many will say that. Yes, I and I, I, I want to give us strength and give us support. The first thing is education. Education is the key. You understand? And one has to become willing to be teachable. And this quote here from the Fitan Neges, um, this quote here that we have from the Fitan Neges, which says, um, uh, Isma kama reisna Wa'itu wa nani am sala ma laya lay lo tu. And from the Gurus it says, because he, speaking of the king, is like our head, because he is our head, or he is like our head, and we are to him like the members of the body. And this is in perfect Christological sense. This is this is the foundation of the church, you understand, as well as the state. You see, in our order, there's not a separation between church and state in our Ethiopic Hebraic order. But the, the, this area of scripture that we're studying right here, right now, um, in the book of Exodus, it's really crucial for us to comprehend and recognize that it's, it's, it's the central thing that we need to really spend time learning 
you understand, learning, and it says committing it to our heart, I mean committing to our mind, writing this on our heart and our mind so that we can apply it, so that we can apply it to the real needs of the Rastafari and the diaspora community. You see, um, so with the help of Ja, I and I continue, and with the help of Ja, hopefully many of you all can begin um, his unity and divinity, his trinity in person, and and there is much more to to share with you. Also, you know, practice some of our old practice, some of the things that can go on in the copy book. Practice makes perfect. It, it's like one when one speak about the baptism and being baptized. Well, of course, you know there is baptism with 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 water. There is baptism with water. And yes, there is baptism with water. But Christ says He comes to baptize with uh, fire and the Holy Spirit, of oh, the Holy Spirit rather, and that order and fire, and and the Word was revealed and is revealed in spirit and in truth through the Spirit, as well as that fire. You see, the fire is a tribulation. The fire is 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 how it burns and cleanses us seven times within us, our chakras, cleans us out as we dwell in it. Many run from the word because when they see the word and they recognize what it's saying, they recognize that it, 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 it condemns them. They, they don't like to deal with the law of God. They say some Christians who are lawless, they say that Christ did away with the law so we don't have to worry about the law anymore. And that's a false gospel. You see, and what we'll seek to continue to do is prove that that is a false gospel, that Christ did away with the law. No, he magnified the law. He said, I'm not come to do away with it, to fulfill it. But not fulfill it like, okay, it's all said and done, he fulfilled it, we don't have to think about it anymore. No, it is our schoolmaster to Christos. It's our schoolmaster, once again, pointing the need for us as newcomers and as 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 young ones in the faith, because if you don't know the scripture, you don't know the scripture. But His Majesty says, "For my part, I glory in the Bible." And what a better way and opportunity! But in keeping our the Sabbath, remembering to keep the Sabbath, and remember to keep the Sabbath holy. I and I didn't script this out, brothers and sisters. It's just once again to appeal both for those who still are interested in um, some sort of online fellowship. Um, the, the channel on the YouTube, that's, that's what it means. That's more like an output, and we give thanks for the comments, so forth and so on. But we're looking into um, some of the possibilities. Whether what, what we're going to go with Google, do, do one of these kind of Google sort of groups, or whether we will even maybe open another kind of a spritz or ning kind of a social network sort of a group. We don't want to really get so much mixed up with the Twitter, the Facebook, and all of that just yet. You understand? Even though we have a Twitter account, but like I said before, and, 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 and this is true, that the, the harvest is, is ripe. You understand? The harvest is ripe, but the laborers and the co-laborers are few. You understand? Those of those of y'all who, who seek to co-labor and seek to do your part and seek to fellowship and seek to build and till with I and I. We begin with our sabbatical studies, readings, and feedings. So when we say grab your pen and your paper, if, if all you have is a loose piece of paper, then use that. You know what I mean? However, this will mean composition notebooks. You know what I'm saying? Composition notebooks. As you already know, the Schofield Study Bible, the Schofield Study Bible right here. And then we have some of the online resources, like right here. This is our the weekly Torah portion, the weekly um, um, Sabbath house readings, or the Sabbath house readings is what we've called it at WWWLOJ Society. Um, some of the other documents, which are, we think, um, very useful in, 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 in giving us a foundation and a groundation. Well, many of you all have uh, gotten this, and we hope to teach on this, um, the Didascalia, 
the Didascalia. Very, very important work here. We have another Didascalia to publish, and yet when you get this copy, this will be first. The other one, the, the redeeming quality of the other one, which was actually an earlier version by Thomas Platt, another European um, Ethiopicist, as they would call them, um, Ethiop Ethiopian scholar, it has some of the goodness, some of the goodness in it. Yet, unless we are able to better do our jobs and 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 to and and the work and to work with those of y'all and and as y'all learn, then more of us will get to know, and then more of us can go out there and teach and strengthen local communities. But with only a few of I and I, you understand. Some say what we're doing is, is, is the, one of the only ones out there actually focusing on such. And this is what also compels us, you know, in the love of John Hoy and the love of His Majesty to really implore you all, brothers and sisters, to please take these studies seriously. You know, um, Jah acts for one-seventh of our time, the Shabbat. The, the, the Sabbath day, the Senbet, the Senbet, or keeping the Sabbath, that is the test commandment. Because if one cannot, or does not, or refuses to keep that, that that's like the door, that's like the gateway right there. And we'll explain a little bit more on that. We want to continue with um, this particular portion of, uh, of, of, of teaching. And... Um, this particular portion of teaching um, from Shemot, from Shemot here, the, the Hebrew book of Exodus, and we're in the 18th portion, which is known as, which is known as um, Mishpatim in the, in the Hebrew, and in His Majesty's Bible, it is called and it means ordinances. But before we can move forward in the 21st chapter of Exodus, we're going to take a little retrospect, you know, a little retrospect to the 20th, continue this with the 20th chapter, and learn the, the trifold or the trinity of the law. You understand? And this is the the three parts or the tripartite nature of what is known as the law or the commandments. As we've been trying to emphasize, the scripture doesn't really say Ten Commandments. Ten Commandments is somewhat of a misnomer. And it's believed often that it's Ten Commandments. Though there are ten words, it's one commandment. It's one commandment. Just as there are ten sifferot. Or, or from the Hebraic Kabbalistic perspective, chakras in man, there are ten fingers on both hands. You, you know what I mean? I'm just trying to point out that there is a there's a harmony, but still it's it's one man. You see what I'm saying? And and the ten commandments is is is, is one law. You understand what's called the ten commandments is ten words that actually make up. Um, is, is one law, and often he refers to it as a singular, but King James in many places translates it plurally. If you were to look up in the scriptures, where does it say Ten Commandments in the Bible, based on the basic King James Version, you will be kind of shocked at what you find. So it's something that has been not an interpretation but the idea of Ten Commandments is an interpolation. But still, it's ten. Ten in the sense of ten words. But ten words that make one command. This is why James, Yaakob, would say later on in his epistle that if you, if you violate one, you violate the whole thing because the whole thing is still one. So there was even that overstanding, or at least an understanding of the Ten Commandments. But... Be that as it may, we will still use, quote, Ten Commandments in a general sense so that ones can understand or be able to point to what we're pointing to. But the real overstanding is that it's not Ten Commandments, but it's the Decalogue, 
the Decalogue, which is actually 10 words. Now, here on our dry erase, we're going to get to back to the dry erase and continue where we had left off. But we wanted to make this a special um, a discipleship reminder, you know, for our discipleship class in this present, I guess you can call it a semester, because we actually, um, September, you could say 11th, the Ethiopian New Year and the Hebrew Holy Season, the Simchat Torah, that is basically with, 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 the, with the begin and end of our civil year is. But as we're coming up now, we're coming up to um, Passover, but this this particular uh, week um, that's coming up, the week of the 19th, since Sunday or Ehud is the first day, um, and we're recording actually this message on uh, February 19th, uh, 2000. And 12, 2012, 2K12, that's when we're recording this particular message, that um, the Abi, the Abi, Toma Abi, or the fast of Lent is is actually coming up. And um, let's see if we can open this right here and share this with you. Um, it's a 40-day fast that precedes what is known in the West falsely as Easter, but we know that it's actually not Easter, but actually Fasica. Fasica is um Fasica is coming up. So let's see if we can get this right here. So yeah it's it's yeah Tome Herkal Lina Yeah Abi Tom Megbia. Um the 20th, which is Monday, the 20th of February, Monday. And um, Monday is also very, very special because um, the Asara Zetain Meto Haya Zetain Ameta Meheret, the fascist, the fascist or, 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 the, or the fascist, the fascist um, uh, Aliyan, yeah, Salamawiyana Chop Yawi. Yan ye guf il eat the Adi Sababa that there was um great violence and massacre occurred in Ethiopia in the Ethiopian year nineteen twenty nine, um uh Asara Haya Zetain, which would be about at about seven, eight years, thirty seven to thirty eight. So this is a very important time. So both that uh, massacre by the fascists, the agents of, um, of Pope Paul, the agents of Antichrist, um, committed during the reign of our blameless godfather and king of kings, Kedamawi Haile Selassie, also is remembered in this fast, begins with the fast of Lent. So from the 20th, count about 40, 40 days, and um, faithful Ethiopian uh, Christians observe this as the fast of, um, what's known as the fast of Lent, but moreover is um, called Tome Herakalina Herakal, or Heraklo, some would say, um, and it's known as the Abi Tom Megbia, or the Great, the Great Fast, which precedes Fasica. So when we think about this, we have about 40 or so, roughly about 40 or max 50, but 40 days before um, Fasica. You understand? 40 days, 40. 50 or so, but less than two months, in other words, before um, Fasica. Hopefully this year, brothers and sisters, and those who have been following this teaching and studying on their own, hopefully they have a better idea of um, what Pesach or Fasica is all about and why whenever God's people we, the once lost but now found black sheep of the house of the family, 
whenever we come to that Fasica consciousness, there's always great things that occur. You understand? Because when we fulfill our part of the Al Kidan, then Yah, or Jah, if you please, the God and Father of our Black Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, He fulfills His part. It says, if my people, which are called by my name, if they will humble themselves and pray. When we spoke of the Ethiopian Renaissance, who was speaking of this this new time, this new age, you understand? This this new opportunity. There are great forces at work, my brothers and sisters. You understand? We have to choose this day who we will serve, and for us, the King of Kings, His Christ, keeping the Sabbath studying the Torah, growing in the Word so that we can be able to co-labor, work together, community, you understand, have a, have a common immunity to the plagues and the destruction that are surely coming on this disobedient and ungodly and polluted world that we are passing through. So brothers and sisters, Please stay tuned a little bit more on the the Ten Words, commonly known as the Ten Commandments, His pure, His pure law coming forward. So stay tuned, brothers and sisters. Shalom, Ras Tefari.